It was just a precaution. And yet, she had... So I, I don't do you fight mummies. No. Do you fight mummies? That's that's cultural appropriation, John. <laughs> so I I know, I know we slightly talked about it in some of the last few pods, but um. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what are you what are your hopes for the future of this franchise? Because I think it's confirmed that there will be no sequel to Out of the Shadows, but there what? Was, yeah. Yeah. It, it didn't make it enough bombed. money. <laughs> It didn't bomb, it just didn't make nearly as much as what they were expected. Are they thinking about reboot? I think it was the the producer of the movie said, don't expect the third movie, but they will, you know, that there'll be another Turtles movie at some point. I mean, of course. And also, I think it's been, I think it's been all but confirmed that the Nick show um, is going to end after um, season five. Mm. Don't tell us what to do. Activision no longer has the rights to make video games. For the franchise, which I thought you meant at all. <laughs> I was like, oh wow. Which, which is why things like Mutants in Manhattan apparently was completely rushed and why it's been delisted and like, um, on like a digital. Um, oh, really? Digital, yeah, supplies. Uh, well, I mean, it was pretty bad. Did you play it? I, I remember you saying that it was pretty bad. No, I think mean, it was. So you don't know. It was like, hey, geez, just taking second hand, second hand information. Second hand smoke here. over here. <laughs> Alternative facts. Second hand, second hand boner hider. TJ second hand sandwich. You should have taken that. Oh, oops. Um, Sorry, I'll just use a power up. I don't know, but, you know, I really like Out of the Shadows. I kind of wish to see more Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah. I would, I would, like, you know, Out of the Shadows wasn't a perfect movie, Come but it on. felt more in in line with what a total movie yeah. should be. Because, I mean, because uh, there, there is no way we will never get. I mean, I, I would love it, but we are never gonna get a like Mirage movie. You know, yeah. that's just not gonna happen. Are you serious? I mean, I, I feel like we were. And we there's were another one too. At least a little bit closer to like Triceratons and stuff. Well, there's there's one hidden in um, in the in, crank ship. Yeah, in, in the technodrome. In like when uh, spoiler alerts, when Shredder's about to get frozen and sealed away, you can uh, see a frozen Triceraton. Which again, I was like, back to stop and give us the mouses. Yeah. I mean, you know, I like that in the shadows. One thing, um, there's this YouTube channel I found recently. It's, have you guys ever heard of um, Cinema Sins? Yeah. This is it's a character called uh, Cinema Wins. Hmm. It's essentially the same concept, but it points out everything that's good. Hmm. There's too much positivity. Okay, it told it. us to go. Told us to go. <clears throat> but let's try one up here first. Sometimes it messes up. But um, they they did this all positive thing of Out of the Shadows, but they said one of the things they didn't like, and upon reflection, I was like, yeah, that was kind of weird. There's very little like martial arts in that movie. Oh, these guys, these guys suck. So, in, in the canon of the TV show, these guys don't show up until the end of, um, there's a arc, kind of like inspired, it's kind of inspired by Mirage. There's an arc. Um, you, you know, TJ, for these guys, use the thing. Oh, okay. Um, there was, a, kind of like in Mirage, there's an arc where they, you know, um, Shredder attacks them, you know, they, yeah. they get damaged, they go to April's farm, they come back, and then the arc will return to New York. But they bust into um, Shredder's hideout. They fight these guys for the first time. All these uh, ninja, like these foot mystics. Um, from what I remember, but in the game they put them in a lot uh, sooner. Not again, dude, he's almost dead. Yep, yeah, finish him off. There's boy. five of these guys, you idiot. Finish him off. <laughs> <laughs> what jerks. Wait, there, there may be a box we can break open for food. That's good, I got ninja stars. Um. But yeah, that, there wasn't a lot of martial arts in Out of the Shadows. That was yeah. my complaint with the first movie. They I mean, didn't fight. I don't know, I would argue there's way more fighting in them well, actually fighting in the first one. I mean, they actually focused on, hey, we're training, and they showed them train. And yeah. so I, I guess that there's there's a little bit of it. There's also but the there's not much ninja in you can do when you're that, 20 feet tall. That's the thing. I wasn't a big fan of They're of not that. 20 feet tall. They're like six foot. They are. Like those, those, I wasn't a big fan of the designs. I mean, out of the shadows, uh, tried to like clean them up as best they yeah. could, but they couldn't deviate too much from the first one. You know. Um, that ma that makes me curious what they what they'll do for a reboot. Whether they'll go more classic, white, or just more eighties, more eighties. Well, see, that, that's what's weird though, because. Unfortunately, Out of the Shadows showed that yeah, people didn't care that much. 
Which so I wonder if if they may not play the nostalgia card so hard next time. Which I, I don't mind about that. You know, I don't, I don't mind. I don't have. I mean, we got a movie with Bebop and Rocksteady. You know, that's and they were handled pretty good. Yeah. You know, the uh, the dick jokes notwithstanding, they were they were pretty you know authentic to Bebop and Rocksteady. What you don't think they have them? Yeah, but they were making jokes about them. Who doesn't make those jokes? Everyone makes those jokes. Oh, that I was did nice. it. No, I did it. Okay. This guy's the most annoying. That stupid fucking. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, it didn't hit him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, you guys are slow. Uh, Why you guys so slow? You gotta go fast, right? Shut up. <laughs> there we go. So keep the money. Works, works when I do. <laughs> Okay, this, from what I remember, this guy isn't as much of a dick, if I, if I remember. He really blows bubbles at you. It's Bubble like man. Uh, Spongebob. Oh, shit, you gotta jump up or you get hurt. What, this is water. I, I can't. <laughs> it's just water, come on. <laughs> this is so annoying. It's just water and they're turtles, for God's sake. <laughs> taking a bath. What's going on? Oh, so those turtles when, the, when that happens, you gotta jump on those things. Do not jump on the exhibit. I jump up, jump up, jump up. Double, double jump, double jump. <laughs> you can't you don't even remember that you can do that. I, I didn't know that you could double jump. What? Yeah. That's like the first thing you try to do in any God video game, right? Damn it. I can do it. Jump up. <laughs> no, you. F <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, TJ, you try and kill him because if I die, we, we're almost dead. Oh shit. Okay, jump up. Hey there. Don't jump down yet. <laughs> They're bleeding people. Oh, and then this guy so fancy free. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trapped with the world and the seven seas. I, I am watching you through a camera. camera. We have one life between us to get through two new levels. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I hate, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not playing this over again. <laughs> Come on, guys. Cheat codes, uh, the uh, game shark, anything. Something tells me fire. Oh. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Mystic Metal Ninja? And this guy fires a bunch of balls at you as well. Mm. Balls. <laughs> what? What? I don't know what happened there. Use your ninja stars, at least. The power of the balls. God bless it. Oh, that's a big ball. Who likes big balls? I love the balls that I cannot lie. And I've got the biggest balls of the mama. I've got balls of steel. Oh, shit. <laughs> Literal. Dude, this is some bullshit. I think if you if you use your heavy attack. Don't you mean ball shit? I, if you use your heavy attack, you should be able to affect the balls. Like, they can't hurt him, but. They can not hit you for a little bit. Yeah, but if you get hit by one, you get hit by like all five of them. This guy's like a bad boy. TJ, get, get the health. Okay. TJ, health. Get her over there. Jeez. Health getting TJ. Health getting TJ. This is so stupid. Man, they have so much more life than you. It's almost like it's unfair, isn't it? Yeah. It's like you weren't supposed to be playing this game. <laughs> I forget if we have to fight the fire guy now. Oh, we do. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I remember this part giving me a lot of trouble. <laughs> I was hey, a kid. Let's blaze the cat. Wow. Oh, there's no, on fire. There's no health. There was, I give you no health in these sections. Uh, you, you use the rest of your um, ninja stars on him. Do you have no more uh, badoom badoos? We don't. 
Yeah. For two, for two. But all the hiding TJ wasted them all. Come on. You guys are not gonna get this. Especially not like that. What's going on? I have no idea. Is this a power that Fire Ninja guy does? He fucks up with that for the game. <laughs> TJ, you, you go away, because if you, fuck, you wasted our last extra life. Good. I like you how, just keep doing it. All. I like how your butt's on fire. It just makes you hot. <laughs> Mystic Fire Ninja makes you hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a dead guy. <laughs> I killed five people in cold blood. <laughs> God, I wish cartoons <laughs> made, made in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, well, this shit. one you're going to the courtyard, um. Marriott. Marriott, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think if there's only one player, I think there's less enemies as well. Oh, so, I mean, so you should just be playing this alone. Well, well, normally it's easier with two, but those those mystic bosses are oh, some bullshit. Not as much bullshit as these fucks are, though. It's not even invisible. Annoying is like sometimes the perspective's hard to see where they are because these dickheads don't have a shadow. Yeah. Well, they, 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 they like, like how much it like blends into the gray floor. Hmm. But yeah, um, so like, in terms, terms of, of reboots of a movie, what are you guys hoping for? Suits. Mm. Dude, that ain't never gonna, like, I'd love it, but that ain't never gonna happen again. I want suits. You know, I wish I know that the motion capture of the last two was pretty good. Yeah. I did, for me, I just want better designs. Oh, yeah. Like, I, eh, you know, I mean, I, like, it, the, the designs didn't ruin those movies for me, but they weren't that good. I don't Do think. you want just, like, simpler designs? I just want them to look like the turtles. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Not Shrek. Which, which, yeah, which, you know, I, I know, I know each, each version of them looks different, and that's fine. Teenage Mutant Ninja Shrek. Well, that's the thing though, Michelangelo looked like Shrek. Yeah. 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 Oh. I don't know, I mean, tone wise, I, I mean, I would, I would like not the ridiculous. Like, you can have adult humor, but not like potty mouth. Juvenile. Humor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, no, no more fart and boner jokes, please. None of that. That's ridiculous. Be classy. Like they're teenagers. <laughs> teenagers are stupid. You call, you call Donatello stupid again, and I'll murder you. I'm, I'm a bad writer. <laughs> <laughs> What's weird really was the guys who wrote both movies wrote Iron Man one. Well, that's, and you know that's, how many times Robert Downey Jr. said a fart joke in that That's movie? my least favorite Iron Man movie. Really? Not <laughs> two? <laughs> fuck it's about me. Uh, if, two if, is my favorite Iron Man movie. How? If anyone in the in the comments ever needed more reasons to not trust TJ's opinion on anything, there you go. I love, I love, um, what's his name? Fuck uh, it, what, Whiplash? No, I love Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell is good. You know, yeah. you know, you know, um, Sam Rockwell's first movie? The original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> really? Yeah. Bring he, him back. Yeah, he's one of the um, he's one of the the, the goons in um when they cut to uh, like the uh, Foot Clan, and then it's just those kids like foot, like playing arcade games and shit. Mm -hmm. And one of them goes like, "Anything you want to do, do it." And the guy goes like, "You got any cigarettes? Regular or menthol?" And he winks at the kid. That's a uh, Sam Rockwell. Oh, okay. You know, recently I found out. Um, do you know what Michael Shannon's first movie was? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, it was Groundhog Day. Yes, you know what? Because I was listening to a. Uh, Podcast Alka Hollywood on the recommendation of MBM and on their graphic episode they mentioned that. See that the problem with with um, the uh, difficulty curve in this uh, this level is pretty simple, but like level three is insanely harder than this. 
This this should have been level three, and fighting the um, the Mystic should have been level four. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Because it's it this kind of has the weird like a Donkey Kong Country two, like difficulty spike where it gets really hard in level two, and then it gets easier as it goes on and it gets mm -hmm. hard again. Just like me, I get hard again. Right, Bono hiding TJ. That's, that's I I just meant like I get difficult to deal with. <laughs> yeah, I know. You just you go for What? Girlfriend told us. Wow. <laughs> we, we, we talk. We talk to her uh, <laughs> without you several times. We have our own private Skype group. It's called Why TJ Sucks. <laughs> we go to we go to we go to Starbucks and have a cappuccino. Or yeah, whatever I, hipsters have. I don't even like coffee, but I go with them and I drink with them as well. Hmm. I don't like this anymore. No one likes you, TJ. I find that hard to believe. Japanese art exhibit. Japanese <laughs> <laughs> art exhibit TJ over there. More like cultural proper appropriation exhibit. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. I forget. What do I? What the? It's uh. Is that the guy from Metal Gear Solid 2? <laughs> yes. Liquid ocelot. <laughs> Okay, so this sword they're going after, there is this, there is like the, the footage we saw at the beginning of the episode with them playing outside like a museum. There was an episode where um, they try, there's the, it's called the Sword of Tango, mm -hmm. which the turtles use for most of season one, but, and that's why it's spoiler alert, that's what Leonardo uses to decapitate Trader at the end of season one. Oh. That even though it's revealed later that that version is a um, Utrom sword, like it's, it's, it's a robot suit. I believe when I've, when I've read the person who approved that in Four Kids was fired <laughs> after the episode aired. Yes. Utrom Shredder sounds, sounds Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> uh, next next cartoon, like, I don't know what what I'd want out of it, because... Something more focused. Yeah. Oh, come on! What is... Okay, they're fine. What is the best Turtles cartoon? It, it's they they do like none of them are perfect. They all do like good things here and there. If 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 Nickelodeon was more focused and didn't have as much stupid fucking filler and just drop plot threads like a like no one's business, I'd probably say that. Okay. Yeah, it, it is a it is kind of a big problem. It's also like it's like the first half of both season three and four just pointless. You know, well, it, see, you could have, you could have made that whole. You could have made the farm could have been way better. I was expecting the, the problem with um the start of season three when they're in the farmhouse. You could have had that not be filler. Yeah. Like you could have, you could have had that. Had you know, there could have been character progression, a plot progression. Like I, I, I was really looking forward to a good, you know, we're gonna develop the characters Same. on the farm. Um, Carlin is, gets like is, is, gets really frustrated about the whole Leonardo's oh um, foot over and over again. My foot hurts. It's fixed no, now. But no, hurts. it's it's the whole it's in my head thing. Oh, yeah, pain, that, that pain doesn't pain mad. doesn't work. I mean, the, I mean like the, you know there are certain cases where you get something. I think it's called psychosomatic yeah. pain. But no, Leonardo had his foot fucking broken but by Shredder. Thing, he had his whole be, body broken by it Shredder. It would be a lot more interesting if he learned to like work through the pain, like, learn to, you know, learn ways to cope with it instead of just, like, discrediting it, because there are people that live with chronic pain. I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so if, if Leonardo, you know, had, like, had that as, you know, part of his character now, like, it would, it would be better. Instead of just being like, no, nah, that was just some crap, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Uh. Damn, this guy's kicking my ass. I, I didn't mind the horror movie um, reference episodes, but it was just like... one after the other, you know? <laughs> it was just too many. Well, see, like, see the, the thing is, as individual episodes, um, a lot of them are, are pretty decent, yeah. but it's just when, when you look at him in the context of an overarching story, it's a mess. Because it's just half a season, like Splinter's mentioned like once mm -hmm. in that. You know, and there's all this stupid. Sh and one of the thing is that the the repetition of plot lines, like how many episodes did we go through where both Donnie and Casey are fighting over April? Yeah. You know, that got so annoying after a while. I don't know. Some, like whoever was overseeing 
whoever's overseeing that cartoon just needed to... Well, the, the problem is the story editors for season one left yeah. after season one, and the current story editor is, is like, no one near as, as good as those guys were. Season one had, like, a, like a, f- a handful of episodes of filler. Yeah. But, like, at that point, like, there wasn't as much of an overarching story, so it didn't matter as much. At this point, when you get filler episodes... They're half the season. Yeah. Um, See, I don't... I don't mind a filler episode every once in a while. Exactly, I don't mind. Exactly. I don't mind a fun, just one-off episode. Well, so because sometimes, sometimes what what you think is going to be a filler episode can like um, in the so when you know it was announced the episode Mikey gets shit acne, and we'll just thought, oh it's going to be a stupid episode mm-hmm. where Michelangelo gets acne. Yeah. But then that's the episode where they double mutate dog powder into Razar. So like so oh, like yeah. you can have like quote unquote filler, but still have something of meaning happen in it. As opposed to like you know the the ones with like the kung fu frogs, you know. Yeah, that was n- pretty bad. Nice reference to the AP show. Kind of funny gag where you had the guy who played Napoleon, Napoleon. Dynamite, voice Napoleon. But uh, anyway, anyway, this yeah. Um, anyway, that, thank you for joining us. I'm, I'm after a part of level three. I didn't think we'd actually complete this. Yeah. <laughs> so um, thanks for joining us, and we'll join you for the next level, probably based on one of the more, the more famous arcs in the first season, Notes from the Underground. Join you then. Okay, bye.